What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here at Wall Street PR. In today's video, we're going to be going over Medicine Innovations Group. Ticker symbol is MYCOF. And as you guys can see, not a ton of action as of late over here on the daily chart with Webull. You can see they did retreat down here to a low of one cent even before bouncing back up and seeing a nice reversal. And they're currently trading at 14 cents even. But before we break down the, the technicals and go over the charts, I do want to talk about the company as always and give you guys a background and talk about some of the recent news and catalysts. You can see this is over here on Medicine's company, uh, not company, company website, I should say, which is just mydecine.com. You can see this is on their about page. Medicine or Medicine's mission is to become a trusted source of safe and effective medication based treatments to address the unmet needs for mental health and addiction disorders. If we take a look over here as well, a little bit more background. They're a biotechnology and digital technology company develop developing innovative first and second generation novel therapeutics for the treatment of mental health and addiction through world class technology and drug development infrastructure. They were founded in 2020 on the guiding principle that there is a significant unmet need and lack of innovation in the mental health and therapeutic treatment environments. I do agree with this, guys. I think they're in a great industry. I think what they're doing is great as well. You can see Medicine Innovations Group is dedicated to efficiently developing innovative therapeutics to treat PTSD, depression, anxiety, addiction, and other mental health disorders. And the company's business model does combine clinical trials and data outcome technology, scientific and regulatory expertise with a, with a focus on psychedelic therapy underpinned by other novel molecules with differentiated therapeutic potential. So basically, they treat all these different mental disorders or issues or illnesses, you, you could say. And I do think they're a very interesting and very important company to society. If we take a look at some of the recent news, you can see Medicine did sign an LOI, which is a letter of intent with the newly institute to provide psychedelic assisted psychotherapy to patients under Health Canada's special access program. So this did come out on the 18th of January of 2022. And this is some pretty good news uh, for Medicine's company as well. If we take a look at some more recent news, you can see Medicine Innovations Group did submit their pre-investigational new drug briefing package to the FDA for MYCO. 001. This was published today, actually, on February 8th of 2022. If we take a look at this, you can see Medicine Innovations Groups, which I just said, biotechnology digital company, uh, did submit this to the to the FDA uh, on February, or they will be submitting this, I should say, during a meeting on February 28th, and the company has submitted a pre-EIND briefing package to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for a clinical study evaluating MYCO001 and a structured smoking cessation treatment program. Even with a variety, a wide variety of approved treatments on the market, tobacco addiction contains continues to remain largely untreated. Uh, said their CMO, with safety and efficiency concerns about current therapies, including the recall of the blockbuster treatment Shantex, there's a strong need for innovation and improved treatment options. So this is great news as well, guys. This is going to be a potential catalyst if this does get approved by the FDA, which I do believe it will. Once that comes out, I do think you could see that kind of good news reflected over here on the stock, uh, on the stock price chart as well. If we zoom in as of late, like I said, they reached that low of one cent, uh, one cent per share. I personally don't think that really had anything to do with a company in particular, and I have been saying this in my previous videos. I think the entire market was kind of slumping. Everything pulled back. Growth stocks, penny stocks, large blue chip stocks even have pulled back. I think this was no exception. But as of late, you can see they did see a nice little turnaround, had a nice little shift in momentum, and curled back up. They saw a MACD cross back here on December 23rd of 2021, and since then, since then they have seen some pretty nice returns, and they are, currently are consolidating around this 14 to 13 cent price range at the moment. Personally, if you are going to be a buyer at this price, I would go in kind of lightly. They could pull back down to 10 cents, where I would average in even more heavily. But I think the best thing, instead of trying to time uh, the market, especially with companies like this, is to kind of periodically buy and dollar cost average your way in. That way, if you, let's say you were to buy $1,000 worth at $0.14, cents, they pull back to 10 you know, you'd be down a little bit there. Or you could buy 250 worth at $0.14, cents, and maybe a month later or a week later, whatever the case may be, you buy another 250 regardless of the price. And you just keep doing that over and over until you establish 
and get happy with the uh, current position that you do have. I think that's the best way to get into these stocks and these companies. But nonetheless, guys, this could be a decent entry overall in general because they do have that FDA potential approval looming in the future. But with that said, do your own research before investing and only invest what you can afford to, afford to lose. If you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate you guys all for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.